Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN live studio, and woo, what a wild Monday it is. We have some big breaking news from the political front as we take a live look at the Capitol here in Austin. Um, a large group of Texas Democratic lawmakers have walked out of the special legislative session that is underway right now at the Capitol. Uh, they announced today that they are leaving to break quorum and prevent the legislature from taking action on the slate of Republican-led bills and priorities that the governor laid out, uh, chief among them the elections changes that Republicans put out there after they failed to pass during the regular session because of a similar effort from the Democrats. Uh, House Democrats walked out of the uh, House chamber last session to prevent that bill from becoming law, and now they are doing the very same thing at this point. So just to get everybody caught up on what is happening, um, a bus filled with several, uh, more than dozens rather, of House Democrats and other Democratic lawmakers took, a, took this charter bus to a, um, an airport area here in Austin to grab a plane, to head to D.C., where they're going to uh, now push for federal elections legis legislation and protections. So let me just show you some tweets that are coming in, and they are coming every few moments. It seems like something new is breaking. So this is just to catch you all up on what we've learned so far. If you take a look right here, this tweet is from the executive director of the Texas House Democratic Caucus. And as you see, it's a, it's a picture from a plane as that uh, plane filled with Texas Democratic lawmakers heads to D.C. There you see um, the Austin skyline, and it uses the hashtag good trouble, which is the phrase that uh, rep the late Representative John Lewis used often. But if you take a look here, this is from State Representative James Tallarico, another Democrat. He uh, tweeted earlier this afternoon, my Democratic colleagues and I are leaving the state to break quorum and kill the Texas voter suppression bill. We're flying to D.C. to demand Congress pass the For the People Act and save our democracy. Good trouble, again using that phrase. And then this picture of the number of Texas House Democrats who are aboard that plane now headed to the nation's capital. Additionally, you see here the bus that uh, some of the Texas House Democrats took to get to the airport. This is from uh, State Representative Julie Johnson. She wrote right here, when it comes to protecting our right to vote, all cards are on the table. We broke quorum again today because the governor and the Texas legislative Republicans chose to bully Texans out of their constitutional rights instead of finding solutions to problems that really exist. This, of course, has been a long-standing battle between state Democrats and Republicans, the Republicans um, introducing and pushing legislation that they are billing as election integrity, while the Democrats say this is efforts to suppress people's votes after uh, President Joe Biden won the election last year. Understandably, there is major pushback coming in now from Republican leaders here in the state. So I want to share a couple of statements coming in uh, within the last hour or so. Uh, first up, we've got Speaker Dade Phelan releasing this statement. He says, quote, a number of House Democrats stated their caucus intends to break quorum in an attempt to stall election integrity legislation. These actions put at risk state funding that will deny thousands of hardworking staff members and their families a paycheck, health benefits, and retirement investments so that legislators who broke quorum can flee to Washington, D.C. in private jets. The Texas House will use every available resource under the Texas Constitution and the unanimously passed House rules to secure a quorum and to meaningfully debate and consider election integrity, bail reform, benefits for retired teachers, Child Protective Services Reform, Article 10 funding, and the other important measures Governor Abbott placed on the special session agenda. The special session clock is ticking. I expect all members to be present in our Capitol in order to immediately get to work on these issues. In his statement, as you just heard there from Speaker Phelan, he does note that um, 
because the Democrats are breaking quorum, they cannot address uh, the governor's veto of funding in the budget for the state legislature. And that's because he did so after the Democrats walked out in the regular legislative session and blocked this other elections measures and voting measures that they tried to pass the first time. So Speaker Phelan bringing that up in his statement. Now, Governor Greg Abbott has also put out a statement here in the last hour or so. If you take a look, here's what he had to say. He says, Texas Democrats' decision to break a quorum of the Texas legislature and abandon the Texas state capitol inflicts harm on the very Texans who elected them to serve. As they fly across the country on cushy private jets, they leave undone issues that can help their districts and our state. And he lists several issues there. He continues at the bottom saying, quote, the Democrats must put aside partisan political games and get back to the job they were elected to do. Their constituents must not be denied these important resources simply because their elected representative refused to show up to work. Now, we should say breaking quorum is a part of the rules in the Texas legislature, so the Democrats have noted that this is just part of their procedure and their tools to be able to thwart legislation that would otherwise uh, sail to approval because the, both the governorship and the Texas House and Senate are all controlled by Republicans. Now, earlier today, the Texas House Democrats, five leaders from their caucus on the House side there, released a statement, and this is it in full. They said, quote, today, Texas House Democrats stand united in our decision to break quorum and refuse to let the Republican-led legislature force, force through dangerous legislation that would trample on Texans' freedom to vote. They continue, quote, we are now taking the fight to our nation's capital. We are living on borrowed time in Texas. We need Congress to act now to pass the For the People Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act to protect Texans and all Americans from the Trump Republicans' nationwide war on democracy. Again, this is all unfolding just within this afternoon. So we are continuing to track uh, not only what the Democrats are saying about their walkout, but also the Republican response there. So we wanted to kind of hit on both sides and what people are saying right now. Uh, we are working to get even more details, but what we do know, again, because of a tweet sent out, is that the Texas Democratic lawmakers are now on board a plane headed to D.C., where they're going to, as they say, press Congress to pass two voting rights legislations. Uh, and there you see this view again from the air above Austin. This is the plane board, headed toward D.C., this tweet coming from the executive director of the Texas House Democratic Caucus. You can find more information about the walkout and what has unfolded since, and also the growing responses that are coming in um, every moment or so now. So we just wanted to share what we knew so far and it will continue to be updated, and you can find all of that on our website. That's kxan.com and on the KXAN News app. So please, download it on your smartphone because with all this breaking news, we want you to stay up to date, and you can trust us to keep you on top of the facts and share the latest information. Once again, I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live studio. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you back here at another time with even more updates on this very busy Monday. We'll see you back here at another time.